So today we finish our camper build. We have to finish a little bit of the wood, carpet the bottom, paint it, put on the windows, make the roof attachment thing that falls over. It's the better option than the drop down back deck. So we're gonna go that route. We got all the parts we need for that. And then maybe towards the end, actually towards the end, I'll tell you about what new project we are starting right after the camper. Yes, right after. But for now, let's go take a look at it, show you what we got and get that thing finished. So we are pretty much finished adding the wood. I know it looks a little funny. I've taken a piece off. This is the top piece. I cut it in half. The reason for that is I'll get this piece right here. This also is gonna go on here kind of, it'll be a little better looking than that, but it's gonna go kind of like that. We're gonna have the deadbolts in the middle, somewhere like this, somewhere like this. So we'll screw those down whenever we're driving. It's closed. When we open it, we'll just, obviously it'll be screwed down so it'll be a little better than this. But we can open these up just like that. Or we're gonna add hinges, one here and here. So it allows this to fold over this way. And it'll allow those back piece, we'll add some here to fold over that way. Full access to the inside of the camper. So let's screw the deadbolts down, the hinges down, get that finished and then it's gonna be time to paint and then I wanna do windows and then I wanna do carpet and start working on the decorations on the inside. And I got some lights for it and some other cool things, but first let's get those on there, make sure it works and then we'll paint it. Okay, moment of truth, we have the hinges on the front, hinges on the back, we got the deadbolt in the middle. This will help us lock it down whenever we're traveling. But when it's time to set up camp, we open that up and does it work? Okay, nice and smooth. We'll set that one down on the tractor, just like so. Look at that entry point. And then this one, this one's a little more tricky because it folds all the way to the ground and perfect. Look at that, works like a charm. And there's our camper whenever we're ready to set up camp. And so now that we know that the setup is perfect, everything is good to go. I wanna paint this, which I'm gonna do right now, white. We're gonna do some cool like black pinstripes or red, things like that, but let's get the white on there first and then I probably want to do the windows next, but let's get it painted. Okay, so I got it painted. I added a few designs to it, so let me know what you think. So I had it painted white, and it just kind of looked like a white box, and not so much like a camper. And if you look up most campers, they have funky designs, kind of like this. So I made a little black stripe, made another one on this side, and the other side is kind of just a mirror of that. Um, I got one there, and I have one there. I think it looks a little better. It adds a little texture to it maybe, that way it's not just a white box. And so now that we have it painted, let's grab our plexiglass and I wanna find a way to screw that in for the windows. I think that's really gonna make it look cool. And I have some other things I thought about for that camper, um, ways for the kids to get inside of it. I think I might attach a ladder to one of the sides, that way they can kind of climb into it and on the inside maybe put a ladder where they can climb out. One that's just fixed to the trailer itself, I think that'll look pretty cool. If that doesn't work, I can add maybe like a little step stool and just keep it in the camper. So when they open up the tops, they can pull out the step stool and get in like that. But I think having a ladder attached to the side of it would look pretty cool and it's pretty neat. We have some cool reflectors that I'm gonna add to the back here in a second. Let's get all of our plexiglass and add this. Okay, so now we have our glass installed. I just ran six screws on that. I also, just to maybe help it a little bit, I ran some glue to maybe help it from shaking a little bit because plexiglass isn't the strongest, especially with those screws. I don't want it to start cracking in the edges, then it's gonna fall out. But it seems to be pretty sturdy and I think it's gonna work pretty good. So now that we've gotten the outside painted on it, well, we still need to paint the frame black, but we've gotten the camper pretty much fully white. We got the plexiglass inside. Now we need to get the carpet for the bottom flooring installed. And then I want to know your guys' opinion on what should we put inside of the camper. I've already thought of like a little snack drawer that we can do. I've thought of a little refrigerator. We're going to do some lights. I want to do stuff where me and Hudson are actually going to go camping with it. So I want to go out in the forest over there at some point with Hudson and I have full camping gear of s'mores, snacks, stuff to make campfires, everything we need to actually camp. And I think it's going to be a blast. So I'm excited about that. But let's go back inside and see if we can get started on the carpet for the flooring. All right, well, change of plans. I cannot find the carpet that I purchased for the bottom of our camper, so I have to go buy some more, or maybe I'll buy it online, we'll see. I'm gonna wait on the inside for the shelving, refrigerators, lights. I wanna know some of your guys' opinion. I think I make like a snack drawer, I think would be really cool. But y'all might have a better idea, like maybe like a pop-out tent that's connected somehow. I wanna brainstorm a little bit before I fully 
start on the inside because I feel like there's a lot I can do, but I have to be real picky and choosy on what we do. Because once we do it, it's limited space and I want to be able to sleep in there, I think. That's another thing I need to toss around. Do you want to be able to sleep in there or is it kind of just like a camper carrier? So please, our Instagram, message me there, comments down below. I want to know y'all's thoughts, ideas before I start on the inside. We'll see if I make a video on the inside or if I just use y'all's ideas, run with it, and then put one on Hudson's Playground. Let me know down below, please. Until next time, bye.